hello friends uh, today we are going to learn how to uh, host your static website on aws s3 rocket so so i have uh, this file and let's open html file see uh, this is uh, this website we will uh, host in s3 rocket so this is simple uh, this is running in uh, stm uh, our local system so let's go to the aws console so aws console is here uh, we can search s3 yes s3 yes uh, now create the button create bucket button uh, you just remember the bucket name should be the same as your uh, domain name so in my case uh, is a coding dot coding x dot in so coding x dot in yes so it's done then uh, below uh, this is the region you can choose any region you can choose so now it's uh, uh, you just can on on tick uh, block uh, all public access so that your website uh, for, uh, visible in public so create button create bucket yes now it's creating yes now you can click on coding ux dot in this is bucket uh, we have created it's loading a uh, little slow my internet is there yes it's loaded now so this is a bucket uh, section so click on properties we will set static uh, website hosting uh, panel so click on this uh, so now you just click on use this bucket to host a website the first option so uh, the, your index uh, document like your index.html file this is the first phase of your uh, website so index.html yes you can set your error uh, 404 file error dot html error error dot html yes now you can save it yes now it's uh, done static uh, website hosting so this is uh, your endpoint for your website now you can access uh, in your browser through this endpoint uh, so let's come to overview here you can upload all the files yeah hit on upload button and uh, local file just go yeah and select all file drag to this yes now click on upload uh, button yes now it's uploading just wait a second yes it's uploading now my internet is slow uh, so that's why it's taking time uh, otherwise it will uh, hardly take a uh, few seconds to upload it depends on your file uh, structure also uh, don't worry it's a 1.5 file means that's a one file maybe it's not uploaded it's uh, the error error is there so don't worry about this yes uh, here so one file yeah one jpg file is not uploaded it's okay uh, still our website will run so after that uh, just uh, uh, select all file and uh, click on action then make public yes so that uh, your all content should be uh, visible uh, should be access accessible through your browser so click on make uh, public button yes now it's uh, making public yes done so now we can check how uh, it looks like so click on static website uh, yes you can copy this url this is the endpoint to access your uh, 
S3 through browser yes he has done it's your website is now loaded so same uh, the link is there but you can now we will uh, setting set up a your domain to this bucket so come to root 53 this is the DNS management of AWS so we'll uh, go there yes it's loading yeah I have this is DNS management section so I have one hosted zone so I'll create new one create uh, hosted zone yes I am creating new one the domain name coding x dot in then create yes now we have this uh, for ns record so you can configure uh, in your uh, godaddy or any other uh, so copy this Uh, copy and paste your godaddy dns manage console so i am copying a second one that way you can uh, set up your uh, ns dns for your uh, domain yes last one is there yes done click on save button yes it's saving now so now uh, after uh, DNS setup we'll create uh, a record so that we can uh, point to that S3 bucket so now we will create the A button A, a record in uh, uh, that root 53 it was, so this this section is blank yes we have alias yes alias means we can uh, point to coding x s3 bucket yes click on this now just create now uh, it's our uh, domain is pointed to that s3 bucket we have created so now we'll check how it's yes it's working see it's our website now thank you